Hello, everybody. If you're new to the show, you might not know this, but we buy animes on sale and we never see them and we never see them. But we finally decided to catch up and start watching them. So we're going to cover these two that are here. Yay. And another one that we saw, but I guess we don't have it, but I want to talk about it. Okay. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So, Sabagebu, Sabagebu, Survival Game Club. It has our Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah. It has, I don't believe, no, 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 no. Uh, it has a 7.4 on my anime list, which is very good. I believe so, yeah. It's pretty good. Honestly, to me, if it has 7 and above, it's good. You already said that. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about this anime. So, Bakebu is this girl. She's very good at firing her BB gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know where she ends up in this. <laughs> How do you say that? Club, yeah, this club of I guess shooting, girls shooting with guns, yeah. So she ends up signing in, <laughs> voluntary. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, they make them, they make her uh, join in, and um, yeah, the anime is just twelve episodes. Each episode is divided like in three small uh, episodes. It's based on a manga also, and each episode is like going into a venture of the club and they are also tell you that this is just a girl's imagination there is a narrator telling you oh remember this is just a girl's imagination and they're starting to shoot each other and you see the blood but it's not blood it's supposedly their imagination <laughs> it's pretty fun and yeah you get a lot of reference here and there from uh, i don't know chuck norris films the matrix terminator predator aliens you name it and it's one of those things that makes the anime entertaining hilarious i mean there are some animes out there that oh this is getting boring. No, this one is for me. It was good. A little film of fan fiction. Yeah, some fan fiction here and there. And the otaku. There is an otaku. What about that? I mean, the otaku looked like a perfect. Well, back in the day, uh, when I say the day, back in the eighties, I believe we covered this. In, another, in the podcast, there is an anime film called Otaku No Video, and they talk about how in the eighties and nineties the otaku was more like a perfect pervert person but did i say that right i guess and then nowadays it's just somebody who is more like a fan for asian culture or anime or manga okay 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 how do you say otaku char here in the united states you know i have somebody that works in a otaku store <laughs> okay <laughs> and he's telling me that it's just people normal people sometimes and some people that are trying to you know, they're struggling in life. Their parents may not accept them and they're just hanging in there like otakus that we are. And Do you see yourself like them? Sometimes, I mean, yeah, we, sometimes we don't fit and I guess anime is our way to escape from the things that are happening in this world. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you shift. We were talking about, yeah, we were talking about the anime. Like, I don't know, you were your questions. I want to be a reporter. I know, I know. Uh, what else can we cover about the anime? The Mad Max scene. The Mad Max episode was great. I really like it. The Predator also was very, very good. I really love it. It's very entertaining anime, you know. It's, it's worth watching it. What about the manga? I did not read it. Dislike this video. Since we have the DVD, does it came with some OVA? Yes, thank you. The OVA, the OVA are actually six. They are, they're not your regular three-minute OVA. I believe they were longer, yeah. And... You know, the first two really felt like an OVA. <laughs> the first two really felt like OVA, but the other four was more, you know, another adventure or episode. It, it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that. I really like that. I believe on each episode of the OVA, they, they acknowledge you. They acknowledge, oh, thank you for buying this. And that got me thinking. That's, I believe, why it's so hard to find OVA sometimes. It's like, just special from, for DVDs, and they are more uh, strict on copyright things you know putting on youtube or stuff like that i mean, so yeah so so yeah look at take a look at it i really also like about the dvd that when you hit pause not pause but stop it, it will put you like a background that was very really nice yeah all right so am i missing something else you cover everything okay guys well let's go to the next one now the second anime that we watch is it's actually a movie 31 minutes world before you end world world before your end is from 2021 is uh, actually 31 minutes this movie and it has a 5.27 on my anime list pretty low pretty low here's the thing about this movie i really wish it could be longer uh, i don't know it could have 
make it one hour long. And I think it would be a little better because the thing about the movie is that time passes very quickly in the movie. They're talking. It's about this guy that lives in Japan and the volcano, uh, Mount Fuji, has awakened and is going to erupt. And there is nothing they can do about it because, honestly, they could have moved to another place or another town. But he met this girl and they start talking online. They met online. And she wants to meet him. They want to meet, but she leaves, I don't know, in another town. But long story short, time passes quickly. While they're talking, you can tell the time is passing. And if you're not, like, really, really paying attention, you're not going to get it. That the time passed? Yeah, that the time passed. And that's one of the problems. Besides the animation. Besides the animation. I mean, again, from 2021, looks, the animation is, like, a very cheap studio. Well, maybe it's a brand new studio. I haven't looked into it, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, if... If the movie would have been a little longer, or if it could have been a little more, uh, I don't know, maybe an anime of a few episodes, the story is very interesting. It turns out that the girl is actually from another parallel world, and she's trying to meet him because something happened to him in her world. And the story was, I believe, in a way unique. I mean, I have seen it in, in other films. Not, not the same, but something, something like that. It was very interesting, it, and they talk about also, they don't talk about, they cover like the depression of being lonely, and, and then the whole, there is a scene that she's going to like commit suicide, and go like, oh, wait a minute, what is going on here, and it was very interesting. Yeah, it's not until the end that you actually understand why she's doing this, and you get to, um, it's a good ending. I really enjoyed the ending, they explained you, everything is one of those movies that, oh, okay, it's not so good, but at the same time, is interesting. Does it make any sense? No. Let's go to the next anime. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your support, man. It's okay. That's why I'm here. All right. So the last one. The last one. So the last one is Jubei Chan, the Ninja Girl, the Secret of the Lovely Eye Patch. What a great title! It's pretty amazing, right? Here's the thing. Here's the DVD. Um, I did not knew there were two seasons. There is one season that came out in 1999. And while we were doing the research to do the show today, oh, wait a minute, we realized that there is a second season, and we got we were very excited because the first season, to me, it was very good, although it has a 6.67 on my anime, my anime list score. Yeah, so it's not so good. I, I kind of like it. Here's the thing. The show is about this samurai that he, like, transmits his power in one eye patch, and the eye patch has the shape of a heart, and 300 years later, his um, old servant, or his employer, <laughs> I guess, he uh, gives the eye patch to this girl, and now the girl transforms into the legendary swordsman, or in this case, swordswoman, and now she has to fight with the enemies that have reincarnated in our era. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. It was very entertaining. Uh, although the girl is, I believe she was like in 8th grade or 7th grade, something like that. So, yeah, I mean... I didn't have any problem at all with that. It was, again, very fun, cool characters. The bad guys were interesting. They were like the school teachers, but they got they like, like, uh, like possessed. Yeah, like something the evil guys possessed them. And now once they fight her and she was able to release them, everybody was back to normal. And yeah, again, cool characters. Very interesting. The bad guys, the whole uh, good versus evil. Her father, he was a single dad. And they explained you why. And yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I, hey, I... Really love season one, but <laughs> but we go to season two, 2004, so it's a couple of years later. You will think that they were smart. Uh, yeah. So you're saying they were not smart. I don't even, hey, I don't know if they changed companies, <laughs> so they didn't verify. <laughs> no, I was too excited. There was a second season, so we went to see them. Okay. So it came out in 2004. It has a 6.88 on my anime list. So season two is better. I... Okay, here's the thing. The story was very interesting. The the villain, the main villain, the only villain, if we can say that. The story, the background was great, but at the same time, it was like the company that they were doing this, they didn't care about it too much. Yeah. No, I mean, even the same characters, they were talking and, and they were like, oh, you were not on season one. And I was like, really? What? Yeah, and they did it more than once. Yeah, it was constantly like, oh... Do you were on season one? I don't remember you. Why? Why are you doing this? This story was very interesting. I mean, and then here's the thing. It felt like 
Season one was for young adults, you know, teenagers, I guess. This one, season two, felt like, okay, it was either for kids or <laughs> teenagers. So it wasn't like Ruin in Kenshin that you can tell Ruin in Kenshin was meant for teenagers and adults. This one, no, I, I don't even know what they were doing. I would have loved to see like a new remake, more serious tone, because again, it was a very, very interesting story how the new girl that, She's thinking that she was the right, I guess, hair to the eye patch. She was supposed to be the one getting this, and then both of them are going to be um, fighting for it. Great fight. I really love the action sequence here. But the comedy, the comic relief, oh, I don't know. They failed so much in that. It reminds me of an anime that we were not going to talk about it today. Oh, boy. But one thing led to another, and it's called Joran, the Princess of Snow and Blood. Yeah, and this one came out on 2021, yes. And I saw it when it came out, and I covered it on the podcast. I didn't cover it on the YouTube channel. So far, it has a 6.1 on my animalist, and honestly, the first six episodes, to me, was amazing. It's like, it's like a steampunk-type um, Japan, Edo Japan, the spies, and you name it. Great, great story, interesting characters, and then the last six episodes, I don't know what happened. They screw up. They could have done something greater than, I don't want to say Ruin and Kenshin because it's unfair, nothing, nothing would be like that, but yeah, I mean, it felt the same way with this anime, with Jubei, first season was great, and I don't know what happened on season two, and the same with Joran, the Princess of Snow and Blood, yeah, so sad, had a lot of potential, yeah, um, so yeah, that's it, I, I, see. I feel that you talk a lot, but you didn't talk too much, <laughs> what, does it make any sense, I don't know, yeah, we should start doing this better. I believe it's a little better covering a few animes instead of one. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the other one? No, that one we're going to cover because we're going to compare manga and anime. Okay. We're talking about uh, Insomniacs after school. Yeah. Oh, they already know now. Yeah, for next time. Okay. Yeah. Okay.